Hi, I'm Sarah Beth Solop. Um, I played Joe in Lend Me a Soprano here at New Stage. For sure. I also, again, I absolutely enjoyed this uh, this performance. I'm glad that I got a chance to sit in on this yeah. uh, and get a chance to see something that was new to the regional circuit, mm -hmm. which was super exciting. So, uh, uh, what is your favorite part about this whole show and, and your role in particular that you played this season? Well, part of what you said, getting to do something new. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah, I mean, it was just awesome. so much fun. Um, and then uh, I, I love physical comedy and I mm -hmm. feel like I've actually got to do very little of it. Okay. And this felt like I could do, I, there, I, I couldn't do too much of it. You know, it's that kind of show. Mm, okay. um, I could do as much as I wanted. I could play with it. I loved that I just had free reign in that department. Mm -hmm. That I just get to be as physical as I want to be. Um, That's beautiful. And then uh, somebody asked the other night at the Q&A something similar. I think what was so fun about a show like this is that it is so physical, but the reward and the, ch the challenge and the reward is finding the layers and actually, even though there's all this craziness going on, deeply caring about what your character cares about mm -hmm. and keeping it real and that truth in there. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. Um, and then also, I know that I'm not a singer, okay? I've I've always labeled myself an actor who can sing. Really? Yes, and I truly thought when I auditioned that I wasn't gonna be singing. I thought I was just gonna like turn my back and they would play a recording. So I quickly found out, oh no, I was gonna actually be doing all the singing. Have to sing. Yes, and I really only made it through all of this through our director Francine. She yes. super believed in me and just like didn't listen to any of it. She was like, no, no, you can do it, you've got it. And she hired a great act of voice teacher, Mandy Spivak. And then I also went back to my old voice teacher yes. and had an existential crisis being like, help, help, you. help, how do I do this? I, so it was a team effort. I cried over here when I was uh, sit, uh, sitting next to him and the only thing, as soon as they heard you sing for the first time, uh, she just kind of swooned. She's like, oh, oh. Her, her voice is beautiful. And then I was like, like how, because you know you were moving around, there was a lot of moving and you, were, you ran from one side and came from the other side. I'm like, how is she not out of breath? So you did a stellar job. You're so sweet. When we were in tech, actually, I did have a moment where I got really lightheaded mm -hmm. because I wasn't pacing myself and I wasn't really, you know, once you get to the stage, it's different. And so every, I, I do have to think about it while we're up here. Like when someone else is speaking, speaking I'm obviously thinking my character thoughts, but I'm also thinking, breathe. Don't lock mm. your knees because there is so much running mm. and there is so much dialogue and then there's so much singing. Yeah, I had to definitely pay attention to that. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. so you said that you enjoyed this part, uh, being able to do this style, this style of uh, theater on stage. So, what do you primarily do? Uh, type of roles you normally would have played before doing this? Well, you know, I I feel like. Um, I mean, I've definitely always gotten cast kind of in like the comic relief category. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I have done a good bit of drama. Um, I just kind of feel like I've never really been given or had a role where I could just let loose. Completely. And yeah. give everything that I had comedically. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like, I think that that is what I've, this is kind of the type of role I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, wow. You know, I mean, I dream about having my own TV show yeah. and it's like, this is what I imagine it being very physical. Um, you know, that that is what I want to do. This is so, it's been a dream role a dream for sure. Yeah. Man, I mean, I, I, I tell you. Well, uh, manifest it. Yeah, to be able TV to watch show. this on stage and I, I made a remark to, uh, to KP while we were out here. I'm like, yo, the set is so real. Yeah. And just to be able to stand up here and I was like, okay, the doors are slamming hard. People, uh, people are flopping on the bed, mm -hmm. flop on the bed, the couch, and everything was holding yeah. together. And uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So the, we talked about that you had you're a mom of three. Yes. How's the work life balance, and how do you prep for something like this with all of this going on? Uh, honestly, this is easier. <laughs> 
it's really, you know, I mean, it is. Um, oh, great with you, Dad. Yeah, and it's actually, you know, um, I think that. I was really, so my husband is also in the military and he's deployed right now. Okay, so shout out to him. When I found out that, you know, there were auditions and everything, my mom was the one who made me do it. I was like, there's no way I can do the show during a deployment and all that. And she was like, you're not allowed to not do it. You have to go do it. So, um, I, and so basically my mother-in-law, my mom, and then I've got like six babysitters that I use that are at the house every wow. night with the kids. Um, so it's taken a lot of people yeah, <laughs> to, make it to make and it happen. And I mean, I can't believe that, I mean, it's just, I'm so lucky that I have people in my life that are like, you need to stay connected to who you are and what mm -hmm. you do. And they're they're not wrong. I mean, just since doing being a rehearsal and doing the show, like I go home and I'm a better mom yeah. because I've reconnected to myself yes. and what I love and yes. playfulness. And so that's the other part that I think I need to remind myself of, yeah. um, that it can seem selfish to be away from them, but really it's not, you know? And I, I mean, I want to teach them that no matter what the obstacles are or you know what the logistics are don't stop doing what you love yes you know d especially if things don't go on the timeline that you want you know yes. so and that's something inspiring uh, for for mom so i was a military veteran i got out in 2020 thank you for your so, service and tell, and tell your husband i said thank you for him you like yeah. just got out yeah i just got out i <sighs> just goodness. i just got out and uh, just to be able to uh, find find that connectivity i know that he's he would be happy to see you still doing what you love yeah and, He's and definitely been very supportive. Yes, for sure. that's 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 what's up. So <laughs> for uh, so any, I want to ask you a question about uh, some advice for a young a young mom um, who is trying to figure her way out and maybe think this is her this is her calling. What yeah. advice would you have for her? Um, I even though I have such a great support system, there were a lot of people that were sort of like, why don't you just take a break from acting? Why don't you just do that like when the kids get a little bit older? Mm -hmm. And I'm really glad I didn't listen to those people because it's like when you take a break, there's really not like no such thing as taking a break, but it's like somebody telling you, it's just not good advice to tell somebody to take a break from the thing that makes them a better person. Mm -hmm. And especially in the mom world, I do think it is kind of weird. I don't really know any other mom actors. Well, no, I do here at New Stage, but not in my like community where with my church and my um, where my kids go to school mm -hmm. and just like our neighborhood. It can feel like, you know, you're the only one. And um, I think that you can't let what you think is supposed to be like the norm of like being a mom mm -hmm. keep you from doing what you are I don't know keep you from doing this profession because yes. it can seem really weird yes. I think for a long time I was sort of they were like you know what do you do and I'd be like um I do like acting and you just never know what kind of response you're gonna get and yeah. I feel like eventually I started being like no I'm an actor and trying to own it a little bit yeah. and, and not care what people think Wow. Because the people that matter are going to be supportive. Supportive of it regardless. Yeah. Okay. So with the, with you, you're very talented. Oh, so I talk about Jackson and how much I love being home. This is home <laughs> for me. Uh, and I always try to, like, this is one of the gems of Jackson that I love dearly. So when I pass by New Stage, every time I pass by, yeah. uh, I just get excited to see people kind of uh, frolicking into the doors. Mm -hmm. So out of all of the places you could have been and traveled, why do you choose to be here? Well, um, I, I mean, there are a lot of reasons, but I really love Francine, the artistic director. Mm -hmm. She was my high school acting teacher. Oh, wow. And so she could be anywhere. And I'd be like, what show are you doing? Because I love her and I trust her. And I think she does a fantastic job with the theater. Mm -hmm. And also it's the most rewarding thing to be able to do shows for the community that raised you, mm -hmm. for the community that like mm -hmm. fostered, you know, you to get to this point. Yes. That is, it has been my favorite thing. People that come to the show, like my bat, my ninth grade basketball coach was here tonight. And I just, I mean, I almost like just jumped off the stage to go hug her. It's just so sweet to see people who 
um, really heavily influenced you and helped you believe in yourself. Yeah, um, you come you see love. you, you know, yeah, get to do I everything. And when you're, you know, like I lived in New York for a while, I lived in LA for a while. When you're off, people back home, they're the ones that care the most and they don't ever get to see you do it. Mm, so I've loved. The business separates people yeah, to be able to do it in front of folks who love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> I, I, so from the Dirty Napkins team and myself personally, I, I want to thank you for the performance tonight. Uh, not you. only was it uh, inspiring to see people at home in the bed, and cause we know we're going to be able to highlight this in a bit in a big way. Uh, it was absolutely an honor and privilege to watch you perform, to watch you do what you're doing. Um, tell your husband, uh, you know, keep going on. Keep, we're proud of him and hopes he makes it home safe. I will. Thank and uh, you. keep being a super mom thank and, you know, you. And, uh, and a beautiful actress. Oh, thank and, you so much. Yes, it means indeed. so much to me. And you're amazing. I thank mean, you. you're thank a great, you. you're a great interviewer, by the way. Oh, well, I appreciate I don't it. Know if people tell you that you ask I, great questions. I'm and... new to it. This is my first, really? my first time. Yes, I was just a guest, a uh, guest on this show last season, and then now uh, this is my first time oh. e ever interviewing people. Oh, fun. Um, my first couple, or maybe like eight or nine episodes in, and, uh, and well, you never know it. Yeah, but well, thank you. <laughs> it makes me feel encouraged. Thank you so much. Of thank course, you so it was much. so nice to yes, meet pleasure, you. Yes, pleasure, pleasure.